Hi, it's Brendan here and I've been answering some questions on commonly asked questions on how to develop as a coach, how to get where you want to go in the field of strength and conditioning, uh, athletic development and fitness. And the question I'm going to answer today, which is a very common one in our mentorship process and really people who are coming into the mentorship process, because it's all, all made clear when you join us, but I think it's a contentious or, or a a hotly debated issue in general in the UK is very simple is how do I open my own gym now the short answer to that th thinking as a, as, a, as a business person and somebody who is all about action is, is actually just go out and open it now I know that sounds ridiculous but for, for some of you it might just be the fact that just go out and do that do, do, go out and do it. Stop looking for the right answer and actually go out and do it. But I want to just elaborate on that a little bit and, and give you some structure to that, to that answer as well. So, long story short, it's a fantastic opportunity. It's a great thing to open up your own gym. I've been, in, I've been fortunate to work in a number of different environments where I've had complete control and, and designed gyms and uh, delivered and, and run programs out of it and we've had a, a great team of guys and, and I know on the mentorship we've got some really good people who've had I think it's sort of a dozen or so people open up their own gym over the last four or five years um, some really good colleagues and friends who I've spoke to and consulted and mentored through that process of doing that as well and there's a couple of things that I think strike me as, as, in, as integral within this process and the first thing is you've got to really want it You've got to really have that desire to have your own facility, to have your own place, to have your own space that is yours. So if you've got that, I think, fantastic, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing, I think you've got to be a good coach to start with. You've got to have the ability to get results. And you don't have to be the best coach in the world, you know, it doesn't, that's, that's irrelevant. But you've got to be confident enough to say, when our clients come into this gym, we can get results. Now, whatever those results might be, whether you're specializing in strength and performance, whether you're specializing in fat loss, whatever it is, you've got to be confident enough that yourself and your team ha are able to get results. And that's really important as well. So be a good coach is critical to this process. And then the third big part of this equation is your business or your marketing skills because ultimately you could have the best gym the nicest facility out there you open the doors and, and if nobody knows about it then you, you're screwed so you've got to get out there and be able to market yourself now marketing is very dynamic it's not something where there's an answer to that question that is this do this you've got to understand the principles of marketing so first things within marketing is who are your customers who are you actually talking to? Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is, where do they hang out? What are they doing? What kind of language do they want you to talk to them in? So are they all sitting in coffee shops? Are they all on Facebook? Are they all down the local sports teams? Okay, because so the sooner you can identify that, the better chance you've got of filling your facility. And you can fill your facility. You know, one of our mentors and colleague of mine, Russell Jolly, was very quick to establish his gym uh, conditioning center within three months he'd got 50 members and then he challenged himself and he got another 50 members within another three months and he's done fantastically well and that's that's totally feasible for you to do that if you understand who your customers are and where they are and the language they like to be communicated in so marketing think about it like this you've got to get your message out there you've got to connect with people there's also some more specific things about what kind of building to get, the lease agreements, what equipment to get, should you lease equipment, should you buy equipment. And I think those are all things that fall into place when you know it's what you want. When you know that the gym is what you want, the route you want to go down, and you just make it happen. You don't have to have the answers to those questions before you start something. That's where you get paralysed by thinking for answers and you think, ah, I, I, I can't do it, I don't know enough information. You do know enough, you've just got to get out there and do it now. Okay, there's always going to be fear, there's always going to be resistance to your ideas and where you want to go, both internally and from people outside. The sooner you come to accept that, the more chance you've got of success. So, 
First things first, a burning desire to open up your own gym is critical. That is what you want. Second thing, become a good coach. Get experience, go and work with good people, go and work with other coaches, build your network, validate your ideas, have a mentor, somebody who can guide you in that way. Third area is master marketing. Go out there and learn how to attract people. Become magnetic. People will flock to you and build relationships in the local area, understand your customers, and that will fill your facility and bring you a great living, a great lifestyle, and most of all, you'll be happy because you, you're living your dream, you've got your own gym. So that's a short, concise answer to how to open your own gym. I went, I'm gonna go right back to the very beginning. The first thing I said to you, very simply, was just open your own gym. And that's me signing off today. Thanks for listening.